Hi, how are you doing? In this video, we're going to explain how to create a pattern in Photoshop. We're going to create different three types of patterns. One, using images. Two, using uh, basic shapes. Three, using custom shapes. Step number one in creating the three types will be creating a tile. And a tile is a small file. Having a small file will help in repeating the pattern as many times as we need. Actually, a pattern is a repeating shape. So we need to create like a small uh, block or a small tile that will be repeated as many times as we need. First of all, we're going to open Photoshop, then from the file menu, new, we're going to create a file, it's width 100, height 100, resolution 72, and the background will be transparent. Okay, as we said, this is an essential uh, step in the three types. We're going to start with the same step. Then we're going to zoom in using Ctrl and plus. From view menu, we're going to divide our um, uh, file uh, using uh, two guides or the two axes, the Y and X. So from view menu, we're going to select new guide. We're going to start with the vertical one the position will be 50 percent okay so here we're gonna type 50 percent remember our document dimensions 100 by 100 so to have the document in half it should be 50 percent and for the horizontal one again 50 percent Now we're done, we're ready for adding the shape. So from here, we're going to select a rectangle. And at the top here, we need to make sure our shape type is pixels. You can create pattern only using pixels shapes. So make sure to change the type to be pixels. Then we're going to place our mouse in the intersection of the two guides. Click and start drawing after hold, alt and shift. Now we're having a neat shape in the center of the two uh, lines or in the intersection of the two lines. Now we need to create a copy of layer 1, so we're going to right click layer 1 and select duplicate layer. Selecting the copied layer, we're going to click filter and other then offset. Clicking offset will um, create a copy of the square to be in the four centers of the document so we're going to select other offset make sure that the horizontal is 50 and the vertical is 50 uh, why did we have 50 and 50 remember our dimensions are 100 by 100 then to have them in the four corners of the document we selected verb around so click ok then or this will be the final step in creating the pattern from the edit menu define a pattern and click ok you may change its name or leave it as pattern 4 now we're done with the first type creating pattern using basic shapes so close ok we already saved it our file as a pattern so there is no need for saving the Photoshop file itself this is no we're going to repeat the same steps quickly to create a pattern using custom shape so from new 
again 100 100 resolution 72 then uh, the background will be transparent okay again control plus to zoom from view new guide and the horizontal will be 50 percent and for the vertical from view again new vertical it's going to be here 50 percent then we're going to select our custom shape so from here right click and select custom shape I changed the color of the shape to be in black last time it was purple feel free to choose any color at the end we're going to change when we're gonna use actually the pattern we're gonna learn how to change uh, its background color how to change the shape itself the the shape color itself okay from the drop down menu here we're gonna select the shape okay I'm gonna select the heart and make sure again the type of the shape is pixels place your mouse here click in the intersection between the two guides hold alt and shift and start drawing your shape Now we're having our shape in the middle. Coming step will be right click, create a copy by duplicate layer. Selecting the copied layer from filter, other, offset, 50% and 50%, warp around. Okay. Finally, edit. We're gonna define as a pattern, leave it as pattern 5 and okay. Now we're done with the first two uh, types uh, of patterns, basic shapes and custom shapes. Now it's time for creating a pattern using an image. We're going to start by creating uh, the tile or the small block. The same steps again, file new, 100, 172 transparent and okay. Uh, zoom in, control plus view add your guides so 50 percent sorry it's not typing 50 okay and for the vertical new vertical here Now we need to add our image. I already downloaded one from Google and I'm going to open file, open. I'm having it on desktop. Okay, this one. Once we open our image, it will be added as a new uh, file. We need to extract um, the, the, the smiling face itself. Then we're going to uh, drag it and drop it here in our tile. So we're going to right click and duplicate layer. We cannot extract any um, image from the background. So we need to have a new layer. That's why we duplicated our layer, selecting the copied layer move to the magic wand here and click on the background from the keyboard click delete then select tool select the image drop it here actually it's too big so we're going to select the image using control t Okay, now it's selected. From uh, here at the top, we're going to change its width from 100 to be like, instead of 100, it will be like 50. Okay, and for the height, 
we're gonna make it like 50 okay select the moving tool okay we need to apply transform then using the move tool we're gonna move it again we need to resize the image so again Control T to select and using the handles here we're going to resize our image okay then from the selecting tool we're gonna place it here in the middle okay to know exactly where to place your image you can control um, and you can select control T okay and move it so the handles are exactly in the middle click here and now we're ready for again right click duplicate the same steps and from filter other offset 50% 50% warp around yes edit and define pattern okay now we're having our three patterns ready okay i need to close this one no close now we're ready for using our patterns we already created them now we're going to use them to create a new file to use our pattern from file new this time we're gonna make the width 1000 and the height as 1000 the resolution 72 the background will be white and you're going to change the name of the file to be your name okay and you're gonna do the same in the exam you're gonna change the title of the final file the one you're going to um, the one for using the pattern or mixing the patterns it will be named it with your name so i'm gonna name it with my name step number one will be selecting the background and creating a new layer i need to place my pattern on a new layer from here new adjustment click pattern by default he will select the last one i'm going to change this one to the heart okay so i'm having the heart as a background and i need to change the background color and the heart color what should i do to change the background color i'm gonna uh, i'm gonna select the background layer itself then from new adjustment select solid color and select any color you need i'm fine with this one click ok actually we created a color fill layer okay by double click the color fill layer you can change the color anytime as you need okay selecting the pattern fill layer from new layer here we're gonna select a solid color again and select any color this is okay sorry actually the new layer um, is displayed um, on the entire screen we need to clip the color in the heart so we're going to right click and select create clipping mask now we added the green color to the heart okay now it's time for mixing the other two patterns that we already created to have like one design consisted of the three uh, patterns that we uh, created uh, so we're going to draw two rectangles right click here 
select a rectangle before start drawing make sure that your shape type is a shape not pixels anymore to fill uh, a shape with pattern it should be a shape so i'm going to draw a rectangle here and another one here select the rectangle one layer from layers then from adjustment here we're gonna select a pattern okay uh, by default it will be the last pattern we created and i'm gonna keep it click okay as you can see we need to clip the pattern inside the rectangle so we're going to right click the pattern fill layer right click create clipping mask so it will be clipped inside the rectangle and we're having an arrow here representing that we're making um, a clipping mask so the pattern will be clipped inside rectangle one as for rectangle two we're going to select rectangle two from new adjustment again pattern we're going to select the square one from here okay we're gonna do the same right click the pattern fill and create clipping mask so we're having the pattern square inside the rectangle two if we need to change the background color of the two rectangles select rectangle one then from new adjustment select solid color change the color as you wish i'm fine with this one as for rectangle 2 select rectangle 2 new adjustment again solid color okay this one is fine now we're done with mixing the three patterns in one design your task in the final exam will be the same you will be asked to create two uh, two or three patterns and mix them in one design good luck inshallah in your exam bye bye